Hey guys, this is CTG once again bringing you a co-op mission. I am once again playing as a level 1 commander with Quasar also playing a level 1 commander. So it's level 1 and a level 1 ally doing a brutal mission. I am Artanis and Quasar will be Nova. So being a level 1, I don't have the 200 supply that Artanis has. Wait for Janara to start speaking. I am Janara, first ascendant of the Taldarim. One of Amon's remaining loyalists has dared to challenge me to Rakshir. He seeks to climb the chain and become High Lord. Keep your armies close to me. With their psionic support, I will end his ascent. So level one Artanis is actually really weak, and that is because. Level 1, Artanis does not have Guardian Shell yet, so that that actually unlocks at level 2. Uh, level 1, Artanis also does not have Tempests or Reavers, that means my compositions will be quite limited. Yeah, as you can see, level 1 Nova also does not have Automated uh, Refineries. I believe that is a level 7 or something upgrade. But yeah, we are very limited as to our options here. And with the enemy being Zer, I can only hope that the enemy is Roaches. Because if it's Banelings, I'm not sure how Artanis will be, will be able to handle that. Since his Zealots do not have the Whirlwind ability either. So I imagine I'll have to get a uh, High Templar for Storm if that were the case. And Nova will need to go for a ground based composition. But I know Quasar just uh, beats uh, Brutal Games by pure macro ability since he is actually a high level player and I'm just mainly using my uh, game knowledge of co-op to get by. So we start another pylon here so we would not be supply blocked as Quasar keeps building his infrastructure that might be a factory even though I can't actually see. You can cancel it soon because that because that we only upgrade I have there. And I reply with a very eloquent okay. Should have said should have said just a K. <laughs> For the maximum passive aggressive thing. Start another gateway. I really hope is coming for us. Templar. Ready your blade. Really hope it's not Banelings. I thought there were two of you in this fight. I expect support from both. Send your armies to my side. Roaches! Hooray! No Banelings this game. That means I will actually be able to go for an immortal based composition. Oh, look at those, uh, look at those Zerglings. Totally derping out. First wave, the first and second waves on this map are actually bugged. They actually go a different route before uh, finally engaging your actual base. So let's drop another power field there so we can get units up. Again, we don't have Guardian Shell, so uh, our units have one life. YOLO, guys, YOLO. We're actually hoping that uh, Nova will drop some uh, defensive drones. Drone that is just what he does, since he is an excellent player. Let's get a few in the back. There are none remaining. Well done for my ally. Activating defensive drones. So there's another attack wave there. Let's uh, help out in whatever way we can. I mean. Nova, even at level 1, is already pretty strong. Her units are much stronger than the usual. And they essentially have uh, the same as Artanis' instant, instant call down thing. Seems like we could use a defensive drone. Gage. Defensive drone helps out my Dragoons, but not so much my uh, Zealots. So, rip 100 minerals. We are actually clearing out this area to the west, 
since uh, that is where the first set of hybrids will spawn, we, will, we actually want to have uh, as much cleared out as possible, since again, level 1 commanders don't have much to work with in the first place. So my first immortal is out. I actually hope to get a bit more. Start uh, Start working on Enemy forces detected. Prepare our defense. Those defenses. Kill that overseer. And there's an attack wave. Oh, you have roaches? Meet my immortal. It never dies. Also does quite a lot of damage. Oh, uh, level 1 Artanis also does not have the warp harmonization ability. That means all my mortals and Stargate units will have to walk all the way from my base to the uh, area where I need them to be. Oh no, supply blocked. Level 1 Artanis feels bad, man. Move her what? Oh, move her up. Yeah, let's do that. Keep uh, supporting Janagar. What a nagger. Nine minutes, first hybrid. There we go. Hybrids. I cannot stand against them for long. Kill them before I am overwhelmed. Uh, great spider mines by my ally. That is actually a great way to uh, kill off all of the hybrids escorts. And now all we have are these hybrid nemesis left, which would be manageable for Nova, some Dragoons, and her Goliath. Ally was able to cancel that command center before it got sniped off. Oh, my Dragoon got, also got sniped off. Let's take care of those. Yeah, Nova at level 1 is already pretty strong. She has siege tanks with spider mines. I sent several elementals nearby. Their psionic bleeding is distracting me. Silence them. If you have the forces to spare. Let's uh, siege up that observer. Get vision of the things that we need to kill. Start our expansion. Looks like my ally is also trying to expand. Ooh, there's a, there's an escort. Uh-oh. Rip Immortal. Immortals are quite expensive, especially if you are still on one base. Activating defensive drone. Let's rally our Nexus to the uh, expansion minerals. And siege to that observer. Just so uh, we have mobile detection. And supply blocked again. Feels bad, man. To build a pylon. Yeah, let's actually uh, build another one. And. Uh, send some probes over to our expansion area so they can mine immediately and return the minerals to the uh, expansion base. Well, my ally also is taking his own uh, expansion. There we go. And it looks like my Nexus will also finish just in time. And those probes are actually going the wrong way. Get back probes. Thank you very much. So far, we are holding on pretty well, and by that I mean uh, we haven't actually reached the hard parts of this map yet, and that would be the bonus, of course, since uh, those elemental cocoons actually do a lot of damage and they are sometimes uh, tricky to dodge, especially if you misclick, and instead of uh, clicking on the ground for your army to move, you click on one of those bugs. Templar, prepare. It seems Amon's lackeys are moving toward their champion. Intercept them. A lot of things happening all at once. Psionic support from the hybrids turns the tide in Amon's favor. Put an end to it now. So I will defend this attack wave first. These traitors are seething with Amon's power. Slay them so they cannot support their champion. 
and I use uh, Orbital Strike to soften up those Ravagers. Looks like we'll be able to take care of those. And now let's help out Nova in dealing with the hybrid. There's a use there. Alright, uh, I guess uh, she doesn't need a lot of our help. That's fine. So let's take care of those uh, escort groups. While my ally continues to take care of the hybrid. So far so good. Where's my army though? Are they all dead? Need to uh, support Janagar. Otherwise we will lose the mission. And no, we don't particularly care about Janara. We don't care, we just want the XP. In fact, Donny Vermillion is way more awesome than you. Stop nagging. Just be glad that we are even here. Let's apply bluff once again. Let's build a couple more pylons. I tell you, as a low level player, Artanis' uh, level 15 power, the glory of the Daylum, which gives you instant 200 supply, such a big boost this is, as Artanis. Elemental has wandered onto the field of battle. Deal with it if you can. Yeah, Dragoons will not be able to take care of the bonus. I guess Phoenixes can, but it takes them way too long. So let's actually move up here to uh, join our ally. Let's keep hitting those things. Ooh, an escort. Let's kill those. And uh, let's get some more mortals. So it looks like we're flowing a lot of gas. That is why I built that uh, Templar archive so I can sink that gas into some Archons. Or even High Templar. If I have the uh, bandwidth to use Psionic Storm. Keep moving up and producing mortals. Mortals are great for this particular enemy composition. If it was a sky composition like uh, Mulisks or Liberators, Banshees, Phoenixes, Scouts, Carriers, Tempests, I would definitely need to resort to idle chatter. The psionic support from your armies is the key to my victory. Move them near me now. I would definitely need to resort to Phoenixes. Our adversaries intend to eliminate us. Templar, greet them in kind. But as it is, I'm going to stay with Immortals. Let's get some high Templar. And looks like the Psionic Storm upgrade will finish just in time. Ooh, that is a big attack wave. Let's get these uh, high Templar at the back. Protect them since we do not have Guardian Shell yet. When the uh, High Templar go down to zero health, that's it, they die. They, they don't uh, suddenly pop up Guardian Shell. Just keep moving. Keep sinking all that gas into High Templar. I guess build another. A robotics facility just to get more immortals. These immortals are pretty great. There's roaches. And the other units contained with this enemy composition. Let's start push. Let's micro our high templar. If you notice, I have them on a separate control group. So I can use psionic storm. I shall be glad to be rid of it, but I would prefer you kill it instead. That's one storm. So we some more. As soon as my High Templar get in range and out of that blinding cloud, I was able to feed back though. Just keep 
pushing? Oh, is that any wave? Yeah, that, yeah, I use that Psionic Storm. There we go. Now we're getting some damage in. Aside from the Immortals, that is. These hybrids possess immense psionic power. Destroy them, or that power will belong to their champion. It's actually, my army is actually frighteningly strong at this point. With lots of Immortals and... High Templar. Oh, psionic Storm! On all of those hybrids. It looks like the, the entire ground part of that horse got instigated by those fighter mines. Nova Siege tanks are very strong. The level 3 weapons upgrade for my ground units. Get our fourth uh, robotics facility. Pop some dragoons for anti-air. An enemy base stands in the way of my victory. Tear it down and grind the rubble into dust. Ooh, you called my uh, archon in front. Just keep marching. Oh rip! Oh my high templar are dead. Still got immortals though. Immortals are still pretty good. It's time to conclude this duel. Give me your power. I will rip Amon's champion apart. Here comes the last hybrid. Amon's hybrids are greatly enhancing his champion's strength. They must be eliminated immediately. Keep attacking. Immortals, we have immortals. Let's use uh, orbital strike. Throw out some of those roaches. There we go. Now for the hybrid. Oh, lots of uh, nemesis, hybrid nemesis. Not a lot for my immortals to shoot at. Oh, there's an ultra as well. I steal that. And some ravagers, some more immortals, some few hydro hydralisks. That's the Terran. Keep shooting. There we go. Yeah, keep shooting. My supplies dropped down all the way to 140. That is fine since the hybrid is already down. Just, we just need to clear this part and then we'll be home free. Drop down some more gateways because why not? And uh, just return to Janara and that will be game. As level 1 Nova and level 1 Artanis. The bulk of the DPS has been from Nova though. No siege tanks with spider mines. Are really doing work. Yeah, if it were a sky composition, the spider mice would not have done quite as well. Let's just wait for the game to end. There we go. And so ends Rakshin. What a pathetic display. When the day comes, I hope Alarak proves to be a more fitting challenge. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. Thank you for watching. If you have a suggestion for what else I can do, please leave that in a comment. And let's wait for the score screen. There we go. See you.